Friday, September 7th, and I'm here with my mom. Hi, teacups. It's starting to feel like fall outside. It's kind of chilly. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. But I'm loving it. I love yes. fall. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mine too. So, yeah, we're going to take you along on our little adventure this morning, and it's going to be fun. Come along. few days later and we had so much fun at the festival I ended up going again with Harold and we bought some fall flowers I am so ready for fall I know it's not technically the first day of fall yet but I do have my fall decor outside so we bought some yellow mums and some orange mums and then we also, we already had these. These are more in bloom than the other two. And then I also put some fall decorations out. So I have this little in flag and it's got a little white pumpkin and that's from Kirkland's. And then of course I have my fall wreath. Actually, I need to water the flowers. I almost forgot. <laughs> And look what just arrived in the mail. This is the September Unplugged book box. I've never done an unboxing for them before, but they reached out to me and they so kindly gifted me their young adult book box. I love YA, and so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. You guys know how much I love books, um, so I feel like this is perfect for me. Um, so yeah, let's do a little unboxing. Okay, so here's a little postcard. This is their anniversary box. Boxes are made from 100% recycled and eco-friendly materials. I love that. And then we have this little postcard, and I love this because it has the Hogwarts Express on here, and it says, Autumn seemed to arrive suddenly that year. The morning of the first September was crisp and golden as an apple. I love that quote by JK Rowling. Um, so let's see, we've got this book here and it's wrapped in such cute little wrapping paper. We have a little golden heart on there. So let's see which book we received. Ooh, I've never heard of this. This is There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. Oh my goodness, this looks very magical. This says, uh, for generations, the seven prophets used their visions of the future to end wars and unite nations until the day 100 years ago when they disappeared. All they left behind was one final secret prophecy foretelling an age of darkness and the birth of a new prophet who could be the world's salvation or the cause of its destruction. With chaos on the horizon, five lives are set on a collision course. A prince exiled from his kingdom, a ruthless killer known as the Pale Hand, a once faithful leader torn between his duty and his heart, a reckless gambler with the power to find anything or anyone and a dying girl on the verge of giving up. One of them, or all of them, could break the world. Will they be savior or destroyer? And then we have, let's see. Oh, this is so cute. We have a little book sleeve and um, it's got this beautiful bright blue design and it's very silky on the inside. And then we have this little clasp here and this little um, silver button to close the clasp. So I'm gonna actually slide my new book into here. Oh, it's a perfect fit. Oh, I love that. And then we have, what is this little guy? This is, oh, it's lotion. Okay, so this is inspired by The Giver, and this is 
Applejack lotion. Oh my gosh, this smells so much like autumn and I love this. Oh, that smells so good. This truly smells like the autumnal Bath and Body Works scents, and I am living for it. <laughs> I'm gonna be using that like crazy this month. Um, let's see what is inside here. Ooh, okay, so this is, wait, what is this? Is this a candle? Oh, it is a candle! Ah, this is a Vampire Diaries candle! And it's Damon! Leave a comment down below if you are Team Stefan or Team Damon, because I am definitely Team Damon. Oh my gosh! It smells so manly. <laughs> it is bourbon, sweet tobacco, chili pepper, and citrus. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> and then we've got a mug. Oh, I love getting little coffee mugs. So this is let's see this is from the cruel prince which i still have to read it i own the book but i haven't read it yet um and it says instead of being afraid i could become something to fear oh i love like the little details we've got like a little acorn and a feather and a little flower oh so cute and then on the other side it says if i cannot be better than them i will become so much worse this makes me want to read the book now. All right, guys, and we have a bookmark, and this is a vintage bookmark. So it's just like a little um, piece of vintage paper, and oh, I love this. I love how it says Paris on it. That's very cute. I like this. It's very simple, and I love vintage vibes. Um, and oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we have a Harry Potter item. You guys know how much I love Harry Potter. This is a Harry Potter coaster and it says, the ones that love us never leave us. I love that and I love that quote. Oh, and it feels really nice too. It's like a matte, smooth surface. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, this is such a fun bookish box. How have I never unboxed from them before? I really enjoyed this. This is our new kitty, Queenie. Hi, Queenie. She is so sweet. She's adjusted to our house so quickly. Um, the other cats are a little unsure, like Luna still um, hisses at her, but I mean, she's doing super well. And yeah, she's so sweet. But Luna is just not sure about it, so. <laughs> but yeah, we love her. She's fitting in so well. And um, she is just so sweet. She is so chill. When we went and adopted her, um, she was in her little kitty carrier and she didn't cry at all. You never really know how cats are gonna be when you first bring them home. Like, Luna was so scared. She hid for like an entire week. <laughs> but Queenie was just so social and she just took to me right away and she slept right next to me the very first night and I was like we are soulmates good girl yay <laughs> she's so cute ah. so I had asked you guys on Twitter what I should name her and I was like please send me Harry Potter cat name suggestions and one of you guys said Queenie and I was like I love Queenie I also love the name Queenie so we decided to go with that and I think it's perfect she is such a sweetheart so yeah <laughs>